Hi, I'm Agent Ford. Do you think you can help me solve another true crime mystery? People don't die from suicide. They die from sadness. As simple as it may sound, these words hold quite the weight. The rate of suicide has increased significantly over the last decade, especially amongst teenagers and young adults. In the United States, suicide is now the second leading cause of death for teens and people in their early 20s. Other than drastic changes to their body and mind, teenagers experience stressful life events for the very first time in their teenage years. These moments can include breakups with a romantic partner, school troubles, bullying, or conflicts with friends, ultimately leading them to commit suicide. Today, we have the case of a 13-year-old named Rosalie Avila who was bullied so extensively it eventually led to her own death. Rosalie Avila was born in 2004 in Cali Mesa, California. Freddie Avila, Rosalie's father, and Charlene Avila, Rosalie's mother, describe her as a girl who was full of life. She had a beautiful, bright smile that could light up an entire room. Rosalie enjoyed reading and liked dressing up as her favorite characters like Belle from Beauty and the Beast and Stitch. She was also fond of shows like The Walking Dead, Stranger Things, and Meet the Fosters. She always remembered her friends' birthdays and would go out of her way to get them a gift. She truly cared about people. Rosalie was an eighth grader at Mesa View Middle School in Yukaipa. She was a brilliant student who always got good grades. Rosalie had dreams of becoming a lawyer. However, her dreams disappeared into dust on November 28, 2017, when she committed suicide by hanging herself. Rosalie's father, Freddie Avila was the first person to discover her hanging in her bedroom. Rosalie was immediately taken to Loma Linda Children's Hospital in extremely critical condition. The family later found a suicide note from Rosalie, leaving behind a message of apology to her parents for the pain she knew her death would cause them. Rosalie's last statement to her parents read, Sorry, Mom and Dad. I love you. Sorry, Mom. You're going to find me like this. On December 1st, 2017, Rosalie was declared brain dead. However, she was kept on life support for three more days so that her organs could be donated. She was taken off of life support on December 4th. Now, what possible pain could 13-year-old Rosalie have been dealing with to lead her to commit suicide? On December 4th, 2017, Rosalie's diary was turned over to the police as it revealed that Rosalie was a victim of severe bullying. In her journal, she had documented daily occurrences along with the names of her bullies. According to the diary, Rosalie sustained bullying in school for over two years. The kids would make fun of her braces, address her as a loser, and tell her she was ugly. Over the months, Rosalie's parents had also noticed some significant changes in their daughter's behaviors. She had become more reclusive and would often cut herself. Rosalie's parents even put her in counseling, but this was to no avail. Nobody knew what Rosalie was going through until she hung herself. Rosalie's parents were aware of the bullying, but not to the extent that Rosalie described in her writing. After Rosalie's death, her friend showed a video of Rosalie to her parents. The video was posted by a classmate who made fun of Rosalie while she was sitting alone by herself. In an interview, Rosalie's parents said that they've even been bullied themselves while their daughter was on life support. The Avilas claimed that they've received memes and very tasteless jokes on social media making fun of their daughter's death. A question many people started asking was if the school Rosalie was attending was aware of her bullying. In her journal, some occurrences went back to two years before her death. When you drop your child off at school, they take complete custody of the child. It is their legal duty to ensure the safety of the kids. And in Rosalie's case, the school blatantly failed this duty. Rosalie's father claims to have done everything he was supposed to do as a father, but the school authorities didn't even respond. He blames the school for not doing more to protect Rosalie and urged administrators to be tougher on bullying. Right now, the bullies are still there. They were suspended for a couple of days, and then they come back and bully someone else, Freddie Avila said to Fox 11. In a statement on their website, Rosalie's school, Mesa View Middle School, confirmed her death writing, it is with great sadness that we send this message to share that one of our young Mesa View Mustang students has passed away. No one can fathom the heartbreak and confusion that we are certain many of our students and families are feeling right now. 
After Rosalie's death, crisis counselors were also deployed to the school that is now available for any student who feels they need to talk with someone as they struggle to cope with their feelings. The school also held a candlelight vigil on December 1st to recognize Rosalie's life and support her family. A GoFundMe for Rosalie's medical expenses had raised more than $29,000 as of December 4th, the day when Rosalie was taken off of life support. The GoFundMe page revealed that Rosalie had big dreams. As I mentioned before, Rosalie wanted to become a lawyer, but she was also a talented artist. Tragically, her potential would now never be put to work. Rosalie Avila is one of the many children whose bullying led them to commit suicide. Mallory Grossman was a delightful 12-year-old young lady from New Jersey with a significant grin who cherished cheerleading and once made gems to assist kids with disease. She likewise was supposedly being tormented on Snapchat and different stages, as indicated by News 4. That very day when Mallory died suddenly, her mom complained about the supposed harassing to the school. Her family has now uncovered that she passed on by suicide. In Canada, John Winter, Chantel Fox, and Janira Roundsky, each of them 12, passed on by suicide in January 2017 in a potential suicide settlement in Wapakika, a native local area. In 2016, Caitlin Nicole Davis of Polk County, Georgia, streamed her suicide via online media. She was also 12. Gabrielle Tay, an eight-year-old Ohio kid, additionally passed on by suicide after being tormented. Another case very similar to Rosalie's was Sadie Riggs, a 15-year-old young lady who hung herself after being tormented by bullies. Sadie was from Bedford, Pennsylvania. The death of teens highlights the growing concerns of bullying among young people in a social media-driven society. Family members of Sadie hope that her suicide will be the start of a movement against bullying. In California, a 10-year-old passed away by suicide after a video of her fighting with classmates turned into a web sensation on the app, Musical.ly. Ashanti Davis was in a coma for about 14 days after her family discovered her hanging within her storage room. The current average world suicide rate is 10.07 per 100,000 people. One million suicides are recorded worldwide each year, meaning every 40 seconds somebody dies by suicide. While it is impossible to bring the dead to life, we can certainly teach our children to change. Treat others with kindness and remember that our words matter. The Avila family tried their best to educate others amid their immense loss. This serves as a reminder to choose kindness when it can be so easy to be careless with our words, actions, and posts. Even after all these years, we don't know who Rosalie Avila's bullies are or if they were ever arrested. But what we do know for sure is that Rosalie Avila is no more, and the bullies are still out there. We, as a society, need to teach love. But we also have to understand that bullying has always existed, and it always will in one form or another. What has changed is the technology and the ability and the way in which people are bullied. Combine that with the materialism, self-centeredness, and greed that is thrust upon us from an early age as we're taught to look up to professional athletes and celebrities instead of our parents and our teachers, coaches, and other leaders in the community. And we are further away than ever from Dr. King's dream of looking in someone instead of at them. Comment down below what you guys think about this case. Do you believe the bullies should have faced a more severe punishment for Rosalie's death, or are they somewhat justified because of their age? Whatever you do, if you do anything today, make sure to tell a child how special they are and that this world needs them. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your fellow investigators. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a case. With that being said, stay safe, and I'll see you guys at the next crime scene.